What's up guys, this is Keska from KeskaArt.com, author and illustrator for Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies. Today we're talking about thumbnails. Uh, they're basically little sketches like this, as you see here, that help me plan my composition and narrative for my graphic novel and storyboards. Now, uh, the purpose of doing this ahead of time is it's an extra step, which basically um, eliminates all the guesswork or the draw and redraw. Because these things are done really, really fast. I'm talking about probably each one talk, uh, maybe four or five seconds. Um, but there is a right way and a not so right way of doing these thumbnails. And I wanted to go over and share my experiences, uh, partly from my experiences with Neil Gaiman's um, uh, masterclass on uh, writing, which I definitely, definitely recommend you guys uh, t uh, take a look at. It's been a game changer. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. So the first method I'm going to show you is where you have the script all planned out. For example, here, page one, caption, such and such. You see frame one, the dialogue, frame two, frame three, the dialogue. And you basically go frame by frame, page by page, and story map your, I'm sorry, map your whole entire uh, graphic novel out. Now, it's not a bad way, but the problem with this is it does get a little bit tricky and inefficient because you want to basically make sure that you pace your story right. And when you're so caught up on individual dialogues in terms of how it sounds or how the characters should sound, it could distract you from the overall pacing of the story. Now, let's not forget the audiences will come in with your graphic novel with a certain expectations of where the climax should be and what is leading up to that climax. And if you're so caught up with the little dialogues, uh, the nuances with which uh, is supposed to transpire throughout the graphic novel, um, if the audiences or the readers don't quite get that climactic a kick where they think it's supposed to uh, be happening, um, they're going to be left a little bit somewhat unsatisfied. So you don't want to do that. Uh, I'm not saying that this is necessarily the incorrect way, but I think there are better ways around um, uh, planning out your storyboards. So here's another way you can do your storyboards, which I um, found so much better, a total game changer. It's based off again the Neil Gaiman's masterclass on, on writing and in comic book writing actually i should say and he suggests first once you have the plot uh the basic uh premise of the story and everything like that go ahead and create page by page of what you would like to see happen until in here so what i did is basically i'll say in school setting number two you'll see the teacher close up number three you see the papers flying everywhere number four you see the the first time the the main character comes um and what this allows you to do is it helps you resolve uh, certain sentences or phrases, as Neil Gaiman would say, within that page. And so you go all the way down to page, uh, I think from my case, I think I have until page 33. And once that's done, you can go ahead and create your thumbnails for your story, for, for your graphic novel. So as you see right here, Sorry guys, I told you this is going to be raw. Um, you know, I would have uh, my thumbnails of what I would see, I would like to see happen within certain pages. And again, these are supposed to be crude. These are not meant to be displayed on public. Well, <laughs> ironically, you now they are. <laughs> uh, but you get the point. And what he then advises you to do is go ahead and within the uh, each thumbnail draw a balloon and add keywords keywords of what you would like to see mm, somewhat what the what character would like to uh, uh, be talking about in terms of like the dialogue if it's just, you don't have to write the whole entire sentence it can be just like one or two keywords of what you want the dialogue to be about and um that way, you're able to populate the whole entire uh, uh, graphic novel from start to finish. Now, I would say is, if this is your first time working with thumbnails, you want to keep it relatively short. You don't feel like you have to go through um, a huge 
saga of 124 pages like I tried to do with the Warner book one and book two. Uh, rather keep it short. Uh, try it out. Try this technique out because it really, really works. And once that's done, you can go ahead and um, write out the script and dialogue on you know, page one, page two, page three. And that way you have a consistent pacing of where you want, how you want the dialogue to flow, the frames to flow, ultimately leading up to the climax and then getting the aha moment at the end. So that's why I wanted to show you to, um, this session. Very, very quick tip, but really effective. So hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and that's it. Until then, in Christ's peace, bye.